Good morning, everyone. Um, it's great to see everybody together again. It's a great crowd. Um, I want to thank Richard and all his team in the Democratic Party and all the committees of the Democratic Party that have come together and to unite everyone. Uh, like they've said, and it is important this year, it's going to be very important that we uh, encourage all our family and friends to go out and vote. And I know I don't have to express how important it is because we all know, and especially as candidates, uh, all, all of us out here. But I'm Leti Garcia. I am uh, your Edinburgh School Board member, place three, and I am seeking re-election. I have enjoyed these past four years. It has been a journey, and it's been a lot of work. But I've enjoyed it, and uh, just to see um, the students and our staff knowing the importance of decisions that we have to make for them, to make sure for their safety, make sure that everything, uh, okay, I get nervous when I'm up here. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's been a journey and, and I've, uh, I've enjoyed it. And, and it's all about the students. They're our future. And it's about all our staff, our great staff in ECISD. Uh, ECIS they all put a lot of hard work into doing, uh, to make this district great. And I know everybody knows we, we're an A rating. After COVID, we were like, okay, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? We did. And we've done great things. My colleagues and I, we're a strong board. Uh, we work well together. And at the end of the day, it's for our students, and our staff at ECISD. So I will ask, uh, as I said, I am running for re-election. I would appreciate your vote and your support of yourselves and your family members. And thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Letty. I'd just like to recognize a very special elected official that just got here, our very own Senator Chuy Nohosa in the house. <laughs> Senator, please come and address the people. Thank you, Richard. Buenos días, ¿cómo están todos? Café, taquitos. Más ánimo. Uh, I'm just very happy to be here with a bunch of Democrats who will get all Democrats elected and re-elected come November. For us, all of these Democrats standing here, public officials, we try to focus on the needs of our families, on the bread and butter, Tortillas and frijoles. <laughs> Making sure we have jobs for our families. Making sure we have health care for our families. That's Making right. Making sure we have a good educational system for our families that our school board members and our teachers provide. Making sure that we provide the infrastructure. You look around here in Edinburgh, we've got a great university. We've got a great medical school. We're growing. We've got an airport. What of Edinburgh? Edinburgh is the fastest growing area here, a fastest growing city here in Iowa County, believe it or not. Just because of the leadership that we have, of uh, the mayor, city council, school board, all of us working with state officials, federal officials to make sure we focus on the needs of this community. For us, it's very important this November so we get our friends, our families, our neighbors, out to vote. The Republicans have the money, but they don't have the people. That's right. Again, Woo! I'm running for re-election. So are my friends here. So I ask you to vote. I ask for support. I appreciate you have kept me in office for a long time. I thought to listen to the concerns and focus on what you tell me we need here in the river in the valley. Yes, sir. So, muchas gracias. Se lo agradezco. Todos, Dios lo bendiga. Gracias. Thank you, Senator. We really appreciate that. The next candidate really needs no introduction. He has been a public servant in Edinburgh for many, many years. He is a colleague, he is a friend, and he is our next district attorney, Mr. Yeah! Terry Palacios. Woo! Good morning, good morning, guys. First of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to speak to you all. Mr. Trevino, thank you for allowing us your place here. I have breakfast here at least three times a week, and it's great. So uh, 
well. Again, I'm Terry Palacio. I'm going to be your next district attorney. Yeah. yeah. Woo! But I can't do this without your help. I can't do this without your families. I can't do that without your friends. We need to make sure we go out and vote. Okay. As a Democrat, we share a lot of values and ideas. We've been doing this for generations here in Dow County, here in Annapur. And we've been successful. So there's no need to change. Don't fear the Republicans. We have a lot of Democrats out there. We just gotta get them out there. We can do it. Working together, we will. We're gonna harvest, we're gonna value our, our, save our values, save our ideas as Democrats. If we don't work together, guys, we're not, that, they're gonna come. And they're gonna have different values and different ideas, and it's gonna be a rude awakening. That's right. Okay? So we need to come out, we need to make sure we brought, bring in all our families and friends and neighbors to vote Democrat, to vote Terry Palazzo for DA. Yes! And I want to make sure that our values are protected and our ideas are protected. Thank you very much. And that was going to Terry. Terry Palazzo for DA. Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much, Terry.